Hey out there, this is Buzz with the Survival Buzz. So I know I touched a little bit in my last video about, uh, you know, the powers that be ramping up this winter for uh, the big con, you know, vid, um, like never before. I mean, it seems like the right time and you're already hearing like little whispers here and there from the who and different people. And other countries are already starting to get all crazy. Um, I don't know how many of you are aware, but you know, back in April in China, they had such massive lockdowns, they weren't letting people leave for nothing, like even food and things. Um, I even heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but there was actually even people leaping out of apartment buildings um, just from the anxiety, I guess, from it all. Um, and I realized places like that, you know, it's China, it's communist, I get it, and a lot of people just dismiss that, well, this is the United States and that would never happen here. And as of right now, you're right. You're absolutely right, and that's why I'm always advocating for everybody to own a firearm and be so pro-gun is because that's the only thing changing it. That's the only thing keeping it from happening at this point. But the more we go down the drain and the more they find reasons to try to take those things away from us, the, the more of a reality these things are going to become, basically. You know, and I touched on the whole sewer um, surveillance thing you know in my last video if you haven't seen that go back and watch that but you know surveilling sewers and things and then now you know now china i read an article today they're uh they're gonna uh, implement wristbands basically almost like a home arrest type thing for people that are um restricted you know under lockdown um and i guess there it's like a 3200 hundred dollar fine and up to six months in jail um, if you don't comply um, when they tell you to stay home you basically stay home and then uh, I guess Australia and Israel are actually even talking about implementing that there they're in talks about doing it there as well so it's becoming the whole police state thing you know futuristic uh, military complex thing and uh, I, I just hope all you guys are actually preparing for this because I, I think if there ever was going to be a dark winter it's going to be this one um and a lot of people think you know all this talk about the the virus and different things is is for the midterms and all that but I, I think this goes deeper than that honestly i think you know they they want so bad to crash this economy i mean what better way to do it right now we're we're barely barely making it you know through not crashing and what better way to bring it in than to lock everybody down like before. I mean, it wouldn't take a couple weeks and the economy would just completely fall apart. So just my thoughts, um, you guys have an opinion, have some thoughts on it, maybe what you think, you know, let me know. But uh, as of now in this area, um, you know, I haven't heard a lot of like ads or anything crazy for vaccines like I used to, but um, I'm definitely starting to see a little bit more mask wearing here and there but I think for the most part at least here in Oklahoma people are over it so I'm kind of curious if they do you know try to lock people down and and get all crazy with it like they did before how people at least here in Oklahoma are actually going to react to it so yeah you let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys on the flip side later